what is it that you don't like about my prize? All right. How about this one? I think I'll get a couple more quotes. Well, that happens a lot, as we can probably imagine. And I always tell people there's nothing wrong with getting multiple quotes because, you know, you, you want to feel like you're not getting ripped off. You want to feel like you're getting the best deal for you. But I, I always ask people, what is it that you don't like about my price? And sometimes it's nothing. Sometimes it's just they were told they need to get two quotes or two quotes, three quotes, four quotes, or whatever their, their magic number is. And and other times, you know, it, it's it's about money, which that's what it comes down to most of the time. And that's where you then have to reiterate that sales pitch that you have. Like, I'm going to use the best paint. It's their highest end paint. It's going to be really good. I have X amount of years of experience. You called me because you liked my reviews. So I say, you know, I'm putting together this package and this team for you. And I really want to help you out. That all makes sense. And that goes back to, like we talked about in our adding value episode of starting and running a business series. That's where you just drive all those points home and show your difference. And because I'm assuming that you allow people, hey, if you want more quotes, that's completely your prerogative. Just make sure that you're comparing my quote line item by line item to everybody else's quote so you get a good comparison. Because I would assume the last thing you want to do is say, you can't get any more quotes. I'm the only one you should hire. <laughs> You, that's what you want to say it inside. You're like, yeah, yeah, but that makes total sense. But the reality of the situation is I, I get it personally. Like I try to get a couple of quotes when I have especially major work done. And so I don't blame them and you're not trying to force them, but you're just reiterating the main points the, the, of why they should choose you and why you're the best. And that question, you know, oh, I want to get a couple more quotes is. That's just a negotiation tactic on their part. In in a sales negotiation, that's just them stalling because, like you said, it could be a budget thing, it could be a timing thing, there could be a whole host of other things, but that's just them in a kind of a delay tactic, a negotiating tactic, where there again, you put your salesman hat on and you continue forward with it and give them your number and give them all the information they need. That's right. And you always have to be selling without sell, uh, sounding like a salesman. Yeah. and you sell when they initially call you. You sell when you go look at the job. You have to try to sell when you're closing the deal. And even when you're doing the job and after, you keep selling because you want them to always be thinking of you. As always, thank you for watching and don't forget to like and subscribe.